What up, guys? Another album review, and I look kind of weird. Yeah, no, actually, this is my first album review. First individual album review. I will be doing a lot over the next coming maybe months of uploading every day, which. <sighs> For anybody that's uh, never heard of this album, uh, matter a matter of life and death. It's a Maiden album, Iron Maiden, which. So this this one is 2006. This is I. Th this is for World War One, World War One, World War Two. It can be applied to wars and other stuff like the longest day. And they talk about like storming beaches and stuff like maybe it's about like World War Two. Uh, D-Day Invasion. Yeah. Talk about this one. I absolutely love it. I've listened to this copy. Front to cover 14 times already. Picking it up two days ago. I've listened to the living shit out of this album. Because... It's probably my favorite Iron Maiden album right now. Like... Out of all the other Iron Maiden albums, I ranked this one 4 on my ranking video. It's moved up to damn near 1. Like, it's, like, tied with, like, Killers and first album. So, yeah. Check out the ranking video. Check out the ranking videos. I did Metallica. I did everything else. But, yeah, this one is pretty good. My favorite song on here, The Longest Day or The Pilgrim. Like, The Pilgrim is awesome. What I... I'm gonna, like... See what I can get from the lyrics here. Because I love reading the lyrics. I like buying these copies because I like to read the lyrics. And uh <clears throat> because the lyrics are cool. <laughs> what I've gotten from the pilgrim. Is it somewhat about World War One and the whole fight of the British because this band's British, which you expect to be kind of like this, but this Yeah, I'm kinda of lost. I get I get pretty lost in my review shit, but like I love this album. The riffs are hard, the riffs are fast, they're, the ri they're like the old Maiden albums, but a little more edge to them. And being an hour and 12 minutes, it just makes it a lot better, more, gives it more, more justice to this album, that it's longer and more drawn out, and the songs are written more fully than uh, Dance of Death, and I will probably never review Dance of Death. I hate that album. I hate it. Like I, I've listened to it. I listened to it once, Dance of Death, and I hated it. Oh well, yeah, that was the one before this album. When they created this album, everybody thought, oh, this album's gonna be the same as Dance of Death. The cover art's like one of the best cover arts of all time for Maiden, with all the soldiers and the guns and And how it's about World War Two, World War One, and the tanks and everything else. It's the only like really good drawn out war album that made it. And I don't think there's been another one of these. <clears throat> like made it kind of stuck to the whole like uh, devil type thing that like fear high ballads everything else this this does have some good good ballads in it there's no slow point for this album it's just it's just take off all the way through it's just take off never stop and that's what this album is if you want take off never stop on an album you go listen to this one you'll be you won't be disappointed at all There's a few some few points where it slows down, but it has justice to it because it's mostly about like 
it's slow. The lyrics are slow with it. It slows down, speeds up, slows down, speeds up. It has a good ballad with it. They mix it good. Like, unlike Dance of Death, where the, they had, like, two songs that were just acoustic all the way through. Like, really? Really? You're going to have two acoustic songs in a row? No, you don't do that. Like, this one, they had uh, acoustic parts, and I think these colors don't run. Out of the Shadows is pretty much a whole acoustic song, but... It has good lyrics and good drawn out. It's just a masterpiece. This album is damn near a masterpiece. If you've never checked out this album, please check it out. The one after this one, the, uh, what, what one was it? I, I can't remember, but the, the 2010 album was just terrible. I hated it. I hated the 2010 album. But this one, this one was actually good. This one in Brave New World. Brave New World's actually pretty good. I, I actually like that album too. Virtual Eleven, I actually like that album as well. well I, I ranked it low because I didn't listen to it and I just recently listened to it. I was about to buy it at the record store, but I didn't. It was, it was, it was actually eleven dollars for an album that i will probably only buy for like six. I got this one, this copy for six bucks, which is actually a good deal for this album. It's my, my, there's three-way tie for my favorite albums from Maiden. The first two and then this one. Because this one is newer, has more bigger, over-the-top. Like, gallops. It has, it actually has a lot of gallops with, uh, Bruce's voice getting up there to the point, like, where it's the Book of Souls. Like, the Book of Souls was probably, is actually one of my bad, uh, favorite albums, but it gets put down below a couple of other ones that maybe not have that big of ballads and it's older. Like, I I actually like almost every, other, every Iron Maiden album, except No Prayers for the Dying and... Points in Fear and Dark. So yeah. Go listen to this one. On my rating systems out of 1 out of 10. I give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 definitely. There's no, there's no bad points in this album whatsoever. It's just full blast all the way through. It's like the 2000's masterpiece of Maiden. Like. This is when the band was experimenting more with bigger, over-the-top power ballads. Like, we call it power metal because it is power metal. This is probably one of their first power metal albums that they ever came out with. It's labeled power metal, actually. On the, online, it's, they say it's power metal. So, yeah. I'm going to do a video tomorrow on a... a uh, you'll have to see which one I do tomorrow. Subscribe to my channel. Please. I'm just... Just barely hanging on to this YouTube channel. Because nobody's subbing. Nobody's watching. It's kind of going downhill. I hope every, like, everybody does give this a listen. And does this get... Gives this album a chance. Pick up a copy of it. I actually picked up a copy of it. I didn't like it till I picked up a copy. Actually, I did like it a little bit before I picked up the copy, but... Yeah, I listened to it, like, twice. It wasn't memorable until I did. So, yeah. Peace. Listen to Maiden. Keep, keep metal alive. Keep metal alive. We are rebelling against the rap music and pop music of today. It is the trend kill. The trend kill age. And we need to rebel against it. No, we need to take up the trend kill. And get rid of this garbage. This goddamn garbage shit. Peace.